Hi, and welcome to my Everything Wrong with Avenger Affinity War movie review. So in this review, I want to try to tell you everything that I think is wrong with Avenger Affinity War movie review. Okay? So you get my opinion what I think is wrong with Avenger Affinity War. Okay? So, uh, there's some parts in the movie where they, they pull out jokes when it should be a more serious. Uh, I want Thanos to be more darker. Um, um, the MCU have a tendency when, when, when they kill off a character, they tend to bring them back. I can name like two or three MCU movies where the character died and they bomb back. Like when uh, Groot died and the and the Guardian of the Galaxy came back. Uh, when, uh, Nick Fury died, and went to Soldier, he came back, in the movie, into like, like, you know, like towards the end of the movie, like that 30 minutes of the movie, whatever it was, um, uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if you count this, but they brought back, uh, Agent Colton, and Agent of Chill, but, but, it was technically, they still brought him back, uh, so I want when, when someone die in the in the in the MCU movie, I want them to be permanently. Don't kill them all. Don't don't bring them back. The three people that die, not by the cliffhanger where you know at the end where uh, Dan or uh, Daniel got the uh, the stone, they tap his finger and everyone start turning to ashes. Everyone die except for the original Avenger like Black Widow, Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, Captain America. They still alive. We don't have him in Hawkeye because he's not in the he's not in the movie, and he'll he'll don't worry Hawkeye fan he'll be he'll be in Avenger Four that's my theory and he'll probably be in Avenger Four with, with the big wolf same thing with Ant Man okay and um the cliffhanger in my opinion was not emotional I and not and not like an emotional thing where I I think the the death thing of uh, Wolverine shot Logan and the movie Logan were more emotional things, okay? Um, the reason I, I, I think that the, the climb, the, the cliffhanger and the Avengers of Infinity War were not a, a, a emotional thing because they're going to come back in Avengers 4 and then, and then they got more movie, throw movie to make, like two more or something like that, you know? Uh, you know, the thing where, um, Spider-Man goes, uh, Mr. Thor, I don't want to die. And then he's not turning to ass. You see, you see Bucky, you know, once you throw, turn to ass. The Wakanda people turn to ass. All these people start turning to ass. Actually. And don't get all shocked and thought they're dead. And, and then, then, don't, don't, don't get all this theory and freaking out there. What about this Thor movie? Hey, they're gonna come back, cause, you know, with the time travel and stuff, they're gonna be in Avengers 4. They're going to do some weird time travel, make them come back to, back to life. And then they're going to have something, and they're going to be some awesome fight thing, I hope, with the, with Captain America and Iron Man. One-on-one uh, -on -one with Captain America, fight Thanos, and Thanos kill Captain America. And then one-on-one -on -one with Iron Man and Thanos, and, and, then Iron, and then Iron Man died by Thanos. And the Avengers 4, if that happened, it would be good. And, uh, and then the death. With what uh, uh, Heimdall, Loki, and Gamora throughout the movie, and Avengers: Infinity War, those three were not were not uh, dead by the action at the end of the of the uh, cliffhanger. They were uh, dead by Thanos, okay, personally, not by at the end where he got the uh, the Infinity Stone and and, and snapped the finger. No, okay, so. Uh, the, the, the reason why the cliffhanger was not an emotional thing for me, and because one reason is, uh, we I know that they're gonna come back for the sequel, complete the trilogy, uh, Avenger Four with the time travel and stuff, and um, uh, after you have a tendency when someone dies, they, they bring them back, the movie, uh, they some time. When it should be more serious, darker, they, they fall out jokes. I like jokes in some of the MCU movies, 
But this one should have been the most serious one out of all. Okay? And, um, I think they should, they should kept, like, some, some of the, uh, few of the, uh, Phase 3 movies silent. If they would have done that, then the cliffhanger of the end of the movie would have been better. Like, like, if they didn't announce Captain Marvel, or they didn't announce, um, Spider-Man Homecoming 2, or whatever that movie called, until after Avengers Infinity War came out, came and gone, then, the cliffhanger at the end of the movie would have been better. Probably been more emotional for me, and been better. Okay? Like, Captain America, I mean, um, Spider-Man, Dad, or Black Panther Dad, or, you know, don't throw them for it, would've been better. And then, the post thing would've been like, who is uh, this theory trying to stand to? But, now we already know that, uh, uh Nick Fury gonna be in the 90, uh, 90-era Captain Marvel movie, you, you know that the, that the end thing is, he's trying to stand, uh, metric to Captain Marvel. And Captain Marvel gonna be in Avengers 4, and they're gonna help, uh, Captain Marvel gonna help defeat Thanos. Probably the, the, the character defeat Thanos. Okay? That's my everything wrong with, um, Avengers the Fanny War. Movie review. Okay? That's in my opinion, what I think is wrong with Avengers the Fanny War. Okay? Thank y'all for watching.